Hey everybody, this is a part three video for the 76 Eldorado convertible being sold online. So I'll do a fast video. Um, let's talk about the car a little bit, telling you what exactly this car is. Um, that's the 76 Eldorado convertible. It was the last year of this body style and convertible that they, that they made. And it was supposed to be the last factory built convertible catalog ever made. Um, the car has two owners. The first owner bought it in 1975 late 75 and owned it up until 2015 and it was that point the second owner somebody he actually knew was a friend of his uh um, purchased it and the second owner owned it for about five years put a thousand miles on it in five years the car's always been garaged it's never been outside ever never ever parked outside it's always been garaged the car has always been in the south it's a southern car there's no rust no rot no bubbling nothing on this car the car comes with hundreds of service records from the first oil change up until i mean from mile one up to seventy-one thousand miles and change right now it's got seventy-two thousand two hundred. so i put a few hundred miles on it driving it around but it's fully documented the miles are original it hasn't rolled over on the clock it's got seventy thousand miles original the car's never been in an accident it's a beautiful shape and as i mentioned we have two binders of old original paperwork, original window sticker, original odometer statement, everything from the dealership was purchased at originally. Um, we have the original keys, spare tires there, jack is there. Okay. We have the service manuals in the trunk. We even have the hard parade boot in the trunk. And if anybody knows about that, that's always hard to come by. It was an option. We even have the receipt for it when he purchased it. And that's a rare option to find. Everything in the car works. We'll go in the car and show you everything in the interior. The only thing that doesn't work on the car is the car needs a blower motor for the climate control. The owner told us last year the blower motor went out. And because uh, the car's a convertible, he drove it around in the summertime. He didn't use the climate control anyway. So the part's 30 bucks, easy to install. That, and I believe the horn right now is not functioning. And maybe a fuse, I have looked into it. But besides that, everything works. Everything that I've tried, all the lights work. Glove box light, headlights, trunk light, tail lights, blinkers, everything. The automatic pull down for the trunk works, the convertible top works, I got a video of that. The power windows work, the radio works. All the little warning lights come on when you start the car. Odometer, speedometer, fuel, fuel gauge works properly. Um, power locks work, if you can believe that. The mirrors work. Everything else in the car works the way it should. Has no issues. Runs and drives great. You can drive it anywhere. Um, sorry if I'm talking kind of quick. I'm just trying to get these videos to the point where they're not 10 minutes long because they get really long and then take a long time to upload. But we'll do a fast walk around of the car. I mean, it really isn't much to show. The way the car shows the pictures is the way the car is. The car doesn't have any dings or any scratches to really point out. And we'll try to get around the plate in the back. I don't want to show the owner's plate. See that puddle under there that's just water the car came out of the car wash so this is water dripping from underneath there's no i have noticed any leaks on the car or anything i mean it's a 76 vehicle but um message drives great the car is running right now we'll go ahead and well we'll just show the interior real quick awesome shape dash is nice The little door lights go on and everything, even in the back. Carpeting is all beautiful, it's not worn out. Powder was replaced at some point, I'm assuming. Power seats work in all positions. It's one thing in these cars you don't really see a lot. Headliners in great shape, visors are in great shape. I'm gonna pop the hood. Even the pedals have barely any wear on them. This car's got a huge hood. Hopefully I can open it up with one hand. It weighs about 100 pounds. Ah, there we go. Okay. See the engine bay in the car looks great and original. The valve covers are the proper color. 
which the stickers are still there. Hood insulator is present in perfect conditioning, falling down like they usually do. I believe right here is the blower motor actually. If you want to change the blower motor out, I believe that's it. I mentioned $30 part, easy to get to. That's the only thing with the car that we noticed. He said before that happened, the AC in the car worked, the heat in the car worked. I mean, if you go in the car and change the dials around, you will hear all the uh, all the vents switching over and everything. It's just not blowing hard. But heat does come out actually. You put the heat on and the cool air on, it does come out. It's not blowing because the motor's got to be changed. The blower motor got to be changed. in the trunk we had the parade boot Let's try to show you the trunk real quick too okay we open up the glove box glove box light comes on original Cadillac owners manuals and here is somewhere is the there we go the trunk release is in there and we'll pop the trunk open okay right here we have there's, there's extra floor mats there in case you had wet feet. He had rubber floor mats there for the car. Here's the uh, shop manual for the car in case you want to do any kind of repairs. Here's the parade boot. It's a two-piece boot. Spare tire. It's a brand new spare tire on this car. Even that is new. The guy really was crazy with this car. Okay, so let me see. But the trunk liner is present. It's all in perfect shape. Under the trunk lid. All the original decals are there. Okay. And I'll show too, we also had a little bit of custom pinstriping done. We even had the receipt for this. He paid $400 to have this custom pinstriping done, hand from a local artist. Okay, and there's also on the side there, there's the original dealer, um, deal sticker on the back. And the trunk closed, you can see too, it even. Even pulls down the way it should. The body fills have been changed as well on these cars. If anybody knows about them, that's a given. Not gonna have a car this old with original body fillers. Never gonna happen. All right, I think that's, that will conclude this video. Let me show the top real quick. I just want to show the condition of it. We already showed it going up and down, but I want to show it's in perfect shape. I mean, there's no wear on it at all. I mean, it literally was brand new. It was put on about a thousand miles ago. So, 